How do I, do I lean? Is leaning the look? Yeah, leaning's the look. Yo, what's up? Uh, welcome to my apartment. I'm doing a plant tour update. It's kind of spring. Um, it's March 2021, so just want to show you where all my plants are at. I got a couple new ones since the last time I filmed a plant tour and I'm super stoked to show you. Hope you enjoy. Over here by my north facing window, I have my Monstera Borzigiana. I used to have this up in front of the north facing window. Um, so I've moved it back a little bit. It's not getting as much light as it needs, so I'm probably going to put a um, hanging light light from up there and give it a little bit more light. But it's just chilling right there between my couch and my chair. Right here I've got my large alocasia. This one's about two or three years old now. Still don't know what kind it is, but it's just chilling in the north facing window. Down here I've got my little pepper face peperomia, I think. Next to it I've got my ficus elastica ruby. Now about six months ago I knocked it over and it broke right at the top there. So it's now just starting to put out some new growth, which is nice. Next to it I have my uh, philodendron narrow. Got <laughs> obviously a problem with Begonia maculata whitey eye. Um, a lot of the little cuttings stem from this one right here. I was trying to um, cut it so that it would grow bushier, but it just grew straight up. You can't really tell from where I am, but it's like three feet tall. It just went straight up and it's still going. This is just another one that I got recently. I've got a little cutting of my Monstera borzigiana down here. I don't know if it's going to put out another leaf, but I'm sure I'm gonna try. Uh, I've got a couple more cuttings down here. So I've got a cutting of a uh, Adansonii narrow form. This is from a larger plant that I used to have, but it got spider mites, so I had to trim it back and this is pretty much all I got left of it. I've got a cutting of a ZZ plant right here, which I was very stoked to see that it actually um, started to root in water. Down here I've got a little uh, begonia angel wing. Got some cryptanthus uh, little pups down here. My purple oxalis. I just recently sprayed it with some insecticide, so it's looking a little sad. I had some spider mite situation over here, so hopefully that's going to get rid of it. Up here I've got a type of Sansevieria. I think it's a bond cell. And then I've got a Peperomia frost right up here. On my bookshelf I've got a cutting of a Neon Pothos and another Pothos up here. This is a cutting of a Skindapsis my friend gave me a couple years ago. Got a pepper face peperomia right here. Little lipstick plant down here, usually in bloom. And this is another type of lipstick plant, I believe. Just hanging from my lamp. Over here, I have some cuttings from a couple pothos that I have. And my Monstera Thai Constellation. Recently put this leaf out and I got it its own plant light so it's really liking that. Alright, we're in my kitchen now. I've got a peace lily down here. This is the purple passion that I took the other cuttings from. Got my bird of paradise. I don't think it's getting enough light here so I will be moving it. This is still a north facing window got my larger uh, Monstera Deliciosa. This was a plant that I saved from Whole Foods. It was super sad when I found it. A bunch of its leaves were ripped off. It looked like it was about to die, but it's really, really rebounded. And then I've learned that I can just shove plants everywhere in my kitchen. So I've got my 
Alocasia Regal Shield, my Alocasia African Mask or Poly. I've got a Epiprenum Panatum right here. So it was putting out this new little leaf, but it had been overwatered where I got it, so that just kind of rotted away. My red Maranta that I had for a very long time, I repotted it and didn't water it enough when I did, so it basically died. I plopped it in water, hoping that roots would come out, and it's actually starting to do that. I had no idea that they did that, otherwise I honestly would have just done that a long time ago. This is just another separate one that I bought when I thought I killed my initial one, so they're just kind of all chilling together. Over here, I've got sort of like a nursery setup going on. I've got um, one of my plant lights up there, so it's shining down. This is a little cutting from the Philodendron Silver Sword that was in my living room. So it was in water, but I've put it in sphagnum moss now so that it will start putting out um, dry roots instead of wet roots, hopefully. It's the first time I've done that. Uh, it seems to be going out well. I've just put out this new little leaf. I got a little tiny alocasia black velvet. It's so adorable. I'm so excited for this one to start growing. I also got a little philodendron florida ghost. It's put out this leaf since I got it. Uh, it's also in sphagnum moss. I'm so excited. It's so cute. I got these little stands from Home Depot too for like $5. Up here I've got my Alocasia Zebrina. Got my little um, Ficus Elastica Teneki. Doesn't really like anything that I do for it, so I'm hoping that this little nursery area is gonna help. Got my Monstera Adinsonii regular form. Sort of just going around my kitchen here and over here. The Neon Pothos that I got the other cuttings from, I put another one of those things from AliExpress up there. So it's sticking. It looks pretty good. A couple more carnivorous plants down here. Um, these are sundews. One of them flowered last summer and it just had a bunch of little babies. And these little green ones that look like vines on the side. If you know what they are, please let me know. They just kind of came in the pot, but I really enjoy how they look. Um, I've got a little cactus that I got as a gift a year ago. I'm really shocked that I didn't kill this. I don't really have a regular watering plan and I haven't fed it yet, so cross your fingers. This is my um, watermelon peperomia. I've had this one for like two and a half years and I shit you not, it just looks like this all the time. No matter what I do, it just looks like this constantly. <laughs> I really don't know what to do. It's kind of like my, my freak plant. I like it. Like, what's going on there? In this little bag, I found some chestnut seeds from a tree, so it's starting to root. I'm going to see if I can grow, grow a little chestnut tree, which will be lots of fun. I'm going to make a separate video of that, I think. Um, this is another Epipenum pernatum. Basically, the same thing happened to the end when I brought it home. It was shooting out new growth, but it just rotted off. So about two months later, it's starting to put something else out. This is a Alocasia Yucatan Princess, I think. I've got a couple Raphavidora Tetraspermas right here. And man, they grow like crazy. I really want to put like a shelf there and then have them go up. And hopefully this will get rid of light from my window here. I'm having a little bit of a fungus gnat problem with them though. This one was just totally infested. So I've done the um, hydrogen peroxide trick and putting cinnamon on the top of the soil. It's definitely helped a little bit. They're still in there. Um, I'm assuming that's why this leaf looks like that. It's from the root system. 
or maybe it was just a little bit too close to this grow light. Um, this one is usually right there, but it's messy. I didn't want to film that, but hey, you know what? Fuck it. Got my large um, aloe vera here. This one's about two and a half years old. It was just a little tiny one when I got it. Here's my bathroom. Um, my bathroom is in a south facing window. I've got my asparagus fern money plant. Got a Hoya Carnosa, either Crimson Queen or Crim Crimson Princess. A little Calathea Macoyana. Uh, this just popped up in the soil of one of my succulents one day. I think it's a mother of thousands. This is the Cryptanthus that the little pups came from. Got a staghorn fern, which finally started putting out a new basil leaf after six months of having it. My Hoya Rotustas. They flower all the time. They've been flowering all through winter time. Got a little donkey tail succulent. It did start out as just this one, but little leaves kept breaking off, so I would just put them back into the soil, and now it's starting to expand. Got a tiger's jaw succulent and a ogre's ear. This is where I found the mother of thousands. Got a purple heart up here. I just recently moved it to my bathroom and it's looking good. I like the, the color difference between all my other green plants. Right here is my uh, Nepanthus. It's a type of carnivorous plant. It's a pitcher plant. I think I have to cut these dead ones off. When I got it, I was instructed to either definitely do or definitely don't. And I can't remember which one it is. So I just haven't Googled it since. But there's about two of them in there, kind of reproduced. Got my Hoya Poblaxis. These ones just vine like crazy everywhere. All over the place. I got these little things from AliExpress that you use to train your plants. And they seem to be working pretty well. I've got my Hoya... So this is the other Hoya that's either the Crimson Princess or Crimson Queen. Like I said, I got them at the same time and I can't remember which one's which. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed my plant tour update. See you later. Bye.